getting that first game in Toronto and then, you know, two big wins in, in Ottawa. So uh, overall, it was a, a good week and a pretty good road trip. I still go to Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press. Thanks very much, Scott. Uh, Logan, um, hockey fans in Canada, as as expected, are raving about the uh, the All Canadian Division early on here in the season. You guys have just four games under your belt, but kind of watching the blood boiling in the third period last night. Uh, you're in the scrum there with a bunch of guys. I mean, is it safe to say that the players are probably enjoying this uh, maybe as much as the fans, maybe more? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of good rivalries throughout the year. And, and definitely when you play teams uh, like we're playing Ottawa three times in a row, um, you know, there's going to be a little bit of hatred and, and uh, that's fun. You know, that's a, a part of the game and, um, you know, helps fire the boys up. Okay, we'll go to Ted Wyman from the Winnipeg Sun. Hey, Logan, uh, what do you think you guys need to do to just keep that rolling that you were able to do last night, uh, as opposed to maybe the first two games of the week? Well, I think, uh, you know, we need to have another good start. I thought uh, our start was really good. Um, you know, we executed the game plan that we, we had in place. And and then, uh, you know, our... our uh, Skill guys, uh, you know, found the back of the net and, and uh, some big goals. So, um, you know, overall, it was a good game, but definitely need to come out with a, another good start at home. Uh, Kelly Moore from CJOB. Thanks very much. Uh, Logan, how much did it help you last night just basically doubling your minutes of playing time compared to the opener uh, in Ottawa? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, the, the first game in Ottawa was, was different. There was a lot of special teams and, and you know, a close game. So um, definitely last night to, to play a little bit more and, and get into a rhythm and, um, you know, feel the puck a little bit more was uh, was definitely nice. And, um, you know, I thought it thought it helped me play a little bit better. Uh, next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Hey, Logan, thanks for doing this. You could be seen last game. I think you had a, a player in each one of your mitts. And I'm just curious during one of those scrums, I'm just curious how comfortable you are, you know, mixing it up at this level. And, and do you really have a choice at six foot seven? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think uh, you have a, a choice. And, you know, I'd, I'd rather it be me in that scrum than, than uh, you know, Shife having to deal with someone. So uh, that's part of my job when, when uh, stuff goes a little bit sideways. And, um, you know, just trying to, to help out my teammates. Uh, back to Ken Weeb. Logan, you talked uh, Monday about not having your family in, in attendance, but uh, can you just give us an indication of what maybe those calls were like and maybe if some friends or former teammates or coaches you heard from in the, in the days that followed? Yeah, definitely a, a lot of nice messages from, uh, you know, friends and family and, you know, coaches from the past. So um, that was nice. But, you know, it was pretty cool to be able to call uh, – call my family and, and let them know that I was going to be playing. And, um, you know, they've, they've sacrificed a lot to, to help me get here. So I couldn't do it without them. And uh, very grateful to be able to, to call them and tell them and, and see the smile on their faces. Uh, Daniel Fink. Hey, Logan. Uh, you spent the last couple of years in the AHL. How have Pascal Vincent, Derek Dubois, and his staff helped prepare you for uh, this time now with the Winnipeg Jets? Yeah, for sure. I think they've they've been instrumental in my development and uh, um, just becoming a pro and and uh, you know trying to get better every day and and there's a big step from junior to pro hockey. Uh, you're, you're playing against men and um, those guys, along with Marty Johnson and uh, you know Richard Bowie, have have really helped me out. Um, just you know getting my game to where it needs to be to to be able to play at the NHL level and. Uh, you know, can't thank those guys enough. Uh, back to Mike McIntyre. Sorry, uh, Scott, I didn't realize actually I still had my hand up. Um, just uh, on the subject of, of Nathan Bolio, I don't know how much you knew Nathan sort of coming in uh, to camp in this season, but how has he maybe helped you out uh, in your first few games here? Yeah, obviously he's got got some experience in the league, and and um, you know he's pretty easy to play with. He's always talking to me and and uh, help me out on the bench. So um, you know it's worked out great so far, and and uh, um, you know he's made it pretty easy on me to uh, to come in and, and play my first few games. 
Uh, Jeff Hamilton. Hello. And you often hear a lot that sometimes the jump from the, the AHL to the NHL can actually be somewhat easier um, in a sense that, you know, a lot these guys are, you know, you can trust a lot more of your teammates. So everyone seems to be in the right place. Just wondering how your adjustment, if that factors into it, if you've noticed that kind of ease to it, I know there's obviously challenges as well. And, and what has been kind of um, the toughest transition at this level? Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's definitely uh, a lot more structure. Um, you know, uh, your centerman's going to be, you know, five feet away from you on the breakouts or, or your winger. So, um, Guys are always talking and, and helping you out, and um, you know, especially uh, um, you know the guys who've been around. They, they they make it easy on a young guy like me to come in, and and uh, they've they've helped me out a lot for sure. And last one back to uh, Ken Weave from Sportsnet. Well, did you feel like there was a moment in the game yesterday, maybe when the game slowed down and the information was able to process a little bit more quickly? I mean, that's always a challenge for a young player. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, that first shift, I bobbled one there and um, kind of got stuck in our own end. So, um, you know, I think uh, just seeing the confidence from the, the coaching staff to put me back out there and, um, you know, I think I settled in and, and uh, started to make some plays. So, um, you know, I felt pretty good overall with my game and, and uh, you know, hopefully I can keep that going. All right, guys, thank you. Nathan Beaulieu will actually be up next year, guys.